Hey everyone, Nathan Ingram with Sour Street Pizza. Uh, today we are gonna be starting the oven. Um, it's a uh, Valoriani, and we've got all this wood right here. Um, we're ready to go, it's 10 a.m. It's about 50 degrees in here. I'm gonna check and see what the oven is at. And the oven's at about 1.38. Um, that's from, it's Sunday morning right now. And last time we cooked was Thursday night. So the oven's still at 140, which will help us out. Um, but I'm gonna build a little um, kindling stack to start it back up again after I clean the ashes out. First things first, we're gonna clean out all the ashes. And there's probably, there's definitely some hot coals in there. So um, you need to make sure that you put this in a metal bin or something that um, can contain fireproof or ashes. Um, so I'll sweep this into a pile. Go get the metal bin. And this is what I'm using for the ashes. So I'm gonna spool, need to empty that. So at the previous um, kitchen that I was at, it was a shared kitchen, and uh, I think it was four days after a cook, um, I was probably six months into this business, which is six months of experience in, in an oven like this. I um, thought there were no ashes or no coals in the ashes, put them in a trash bag, threw it in the dumpster, and uh, shortly after I saw smoke coming out of the dumpster and I almost started a dumpster fire. I had to um, get the hose over there and I was throwing buckets. Uh, so don't do that. Pretty much never put this stuff in a trash bag. Put it in a can and let it uh, die out. I'm gonna do four this way, four perpendicular. I'll do um, a few levels of that and then some bigger logs on top and I'll put fire starters on them, put them in the middle um, and that should burn for at least 30 minutes um, until you get a white spot on the top of the oven. And then at that point, um, we'll move the coals into a circle. Um, but I'll show you how we stack this up first. And I use these Weber fire starters sometimes. I'll use four of these, um, or I'll use the natural wood ones. It just depends on what the store has at the time. Grab a flat log to slide this in. You can move that up pretty close. Then I'll start these. And I'll slide this into the middle. Slide that log over there. Slide another log here. Slide that log there. Um, and I'll 
take up oh, mess that up um this in the middle and push these down um, so now we're good good to go I'll check back on this in 15-20 uh, minutes and keep adding logs continually to get the um, get the oven floor hot enough and today we're not going to be that busy we're just setting up at our kitchen um, we're not at any sort of event, destination, brewery. Um, so we're a little late, but I'm not too worried about it because we're not gonna be, we're not gonna have an oven full of pizzas cooling it down. I wanna let you know that I keep this here. Um, when I'm starting the oven, it kind of helps control the smoke going through the flue. Um, so keep this right here to help the airflow. Um, but you can see what it's like. So far, that's about four minutes. Now we load the ingredients while we're waiting on the fire to start. So if it starts smoking real bad, sometimes the cause is the um, dogs on the side and they just need to go on top but it's doing pretty good in there all right it's been about 30 minutes we're still prepping over here getting the ingredients going and the oven is ready for the perimeter burn so i'm going to bring this down probably get rid of that so we can warm up i'm going to hand this off to luke See, it's smoking a little bit just because the air getting redirected, but now we're, we're probably good. Um, so I'm just gonna push the fire around the perimeter and try to try to uh, not allow the logs to just sit flat on the surface because then they'll they'll start smoking. They need they need to have air underneath. Um, for oxygen for the fire. But sometimes we'll get a little puff with a, a four, four foot flue. Um, the pull is not as good as it is in some restaurants. But once the fire is going, we're good to go. We got one more log over here. more logs in there in about one minute I'll throw those on the fire this is what we're doing all right so now um, the fire kind of recovered after spreading it out for the perimeter burn as you can see um, I'm going to move these logs onto the fire. Oops. Trying to film and move these. So we're going pretty good. Check the temp. We're at 720, 700 in the middle. Uh, that's about perfect. So we're right on track. I'm gonna put some mushrooms on here, cook the mushrooms when we're doing the perimeter burn. And it's been about five minutes. Um, you can see the walls, uh, they're still black, but any minute now they're gonna lighten up. 
that's what you have to have. Um, you have to kind of have illumination. Um, that that means the oven's hot. Pizzas are gonna cook. So the walls are still black. Um, they're starting to lighten up. We just need those to. We need to burn off all that soot um, before we can move the coals over. And I even like to just. Once you burn off all the soot, I keep it going until uh, right before we open, uh, just so I can get the oven hot enough, especially when I know we're going to be really busy. Yeah, got some mushrooms we're about to put in. Um, I'll let this, this pan this pan's been sitting in the trailer all night, so it's cold. I don't want to cool down the oven so fast. So I let these sit um, at the front of the oven for a few minutes to get the pan warm before I slide it in there. Um, we're just cooking a few today. Normally we do a lot more, um, but like I said, uh, it's gonna be a slow event today. So it's been about 50 minutes since we started the oven. Um, it's looking pretty good in there. We got these mushrooms right here. We're about to slide in. Just want to warm up the pan first a bit. Um, so we are at 11, it's 11.15. We'll definitely be ready to go by noon. So it's looking good in there. You can hear the mushrooms cooking. You can see the soot wearing off. Um, I'll bring the mushrooms forward, stir them up a little bit, put them back in. Another 10 minutes or so, they'll be done. Um, but we're at 1120 now, um, soot's burning off. I'll keep this going for another 30 minutes um, right until right before we open. Look, will you hold this? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, so it, it's 11.44. The perimeter burn is done. Um, I'm gonna move all these coals over to the left on top of this um, grate. And I try to stagger them um, so that they can breathe or else um, they won't burn up and they'll, the oven will end up getting all smoky. So all those are moved over. Now I'm gonna switch tools. And move all these coals over. And I like, even if I have back-to-back -back events, I like cleaning out all the coals um, and starting the oven over. Just, just because I like having the least amount of coals possible on the left. Um, when I had unseasoned wood, we would end up with a big mound over there just because you had to keep throwing wood on there to get it hot, but it wouldn't burn all the way through fast enough. Um, so now we have, we've got the good stuff and you can see I need to clean those coals up on the right. Um, and then I need to sweep and brush, um, but we're almost there. All right, it's warming up in here. I think it was 50 when we started and we're at 67. Um, the oven is looking good. We just need to brush. Um, but as you can see, it's burning nice. We're at 7 or 8, 800 right in the middle. So that's perfect. 
we hold that. I'm gonna brush real quick. And then we're gonna be ready to go. When you're brushing, you need to make sure that you don't get any of the embers because it'll burn the brass. Um, so here we are, ready to go. Thanks for following along. See y'all next time.